So today I want to talk about bone cancer in dogs. Uh, sadly, a lot of dogs do get bone cancer. It tends to be a common cancer in large to giant breed dogs. So I want to sit down today and do the basics of bone cancer, a 101 if you will, just to give you some general information about how bone cancer first presents, it's diagnosed, and some basic treatment options. I'll certainly start off by saying this video is not a replacement for getting medical attention by a board certified veterinary oncologist. So please go see an oncologist after you see this video, but at least sit down for a few minutes with me and let's talk about what we can do about this. So bone cancer in dogs typically presents as a limp. And as we know, as dogs get older, they can limp sometimes and they don't get around quite as well. So most owners aren't terribly concerned if their, day ha if their dog has a day of limping on and off here and there. But what actually happens with these dogs is it progresses. So a couple limps a week turns into daily, hourly, to constant limping. And at some point, most owners go to their veterinarian and work up what's going on. And so a lot of the times x-rays are done and that tends to be the most telling. Where on x-ray you're gonna see major changes in the bone that will show loss of bone or a regular growth of the bone, something that's very abnormal to your veterinarian. And that typically sets all of us off in trying to get an official diagnosis and chase down what's actually happening with your dog. Uh, so once we find that these dogs do have changes in their bone or bone lesions, we try to officially diagnose them beyond what x-ray can show. And so a lot of veterinarians and or oncologists are going to consider recommending either an aspirate of your dog's bone or a biopsy. This allows us to get a sample of actually what's happening to ideally prove that your dog has bone cancer versus something else like an infection or a cyst or other unusual cancer that could be causing this. Uh, once a dog is diagnosed with bone cancer, we have two main arms of what we're trying to achieve. One is comfort, which I think is everybody's priority, trying to keep these dogs from being too comfortable, or not being comfortable enough, I'm sorry. The second is trying to kill the cancer itself. So when it comes to comfort, um, all of us have the same goals in that we want all of our patients to be comfortable. And thankfully, there's a lot of options when it comes to trying to make these dogs more comfortable and relieving their bone pain. And these options can be mixed and matched, and there's many of them. And so whenever you're meeting with your oncologist, they're gonna go through all the options that are available for you. They range anywhere from oral medications at home, radiation therapy, to sometimes even amputation, or drugs that stabilize bone to try to help with comfort. So there's a lot of options that we all work on when we're first getting started with these patients. The second arm of therapy is trying to get rid of the cancer or decrease the amount of cancer in the body. This is actually achieved in a variety of ways, and it also overlaps a little bit with comfort care. So dogs that have extreme pain and cannot use their legs, many times are actually good candidates for amputation. And that's usually not what owners want to hear, because amputation can be fairly scary. But when you think about it, if these dogs are in pain all day, every day, we're not achieving our goals. We're not keeping the dog more comfortable. And so whenever possible, we do try to consider amputation to try to alleviate their pain. The other thing amputation does is it gives us a full biopsy. And so it's something we need to consider, but it's not something we take on lightly. And so when you meet with your oncologist or surgeon, certainly there should be a good discussion to see if that's appropriate or even reasonable for your pet. Um, other things that we do to try to address the cancer involve chemotherapy, radiation, or even immunotherapy. Chemotherapy allows us to slow down the disease progression. Sadly, this cancer, bone cancer, likes to spread, and usually it's going to go to the lungs. And so by giving these patients chemotherapy, it helps us to maintain and preserve their quality of life by slowing down the spread to the lungs and helping them to feel better. Um, so chemotherapy is something that's probably going to come up when you talk to your oncologist. Each oncologist has a little bit different take on it as far as dosing and drugs used, but it certainly can be quite beneficial for a lot of dogs. Um, other things that we choose for treatment um, can involve radiation therapy or bone stabilizers. Uh, radiation therapy really helps us to address uh, the local tumor, so the tumor you actually see on the bone itself, but it is nothing for the rest of the body. And so that's part of the discussion too when you meet with your oncologist. And other things that we'll give too to try to slow down the spread and or influence the spread, I should say, our bone stabilizers, um, things like bisphosphonates, which are also used in women with osteoporosis. Uh, we do have some evidence to suggest that those do modify the disease spread, but they're not necessarily given to kill a lot of cancer. 
And so those two are deployed for these patients to try to address their cancer itself. So as you can see from this, we have two goals in mind and they even overlap a little bit. How do we achieve comfort in these patients? And how do we slow down their cancer to maintain and extend their quality of life? So those are the basics on bone cancer in dogs. Uh, please reach out to your oncologist to get a consultation for your dog. We all know how scary this is and how concerned you are about your dog, but it really is important that you get a consultation and get all the information and that it's tailored specifically for your pet. This video alone does not encompass all dogs that have bone cancer. Your dog's an individual and it needs to be examined and evaluated to have a custom treatment plan made just for your dog.